like whipped cream. And, uh... recipe was really too easy. Was you should, it too easy? This was too easy, yeah. It's not easy for you. <laughs> we, uh, No, we're out of time. We're out of time. Yeah. Well, well, we're just going to have to cut something out of the middle. <laughs> <laughs> On this show, that's not going to be hard to do. <laughs> we're going to make a casserole, a, a very large casserole, uh, macaroni and uh, cheese and broccoli and carrots and mushrooms, and it's a whole meal all in one thing. Wow, what's it called? Well, we got to think up a name for it. I don't know. It's an original. I make, I've been making it for years, and I put it in the refrigerator, and you take a little bit out and put it in the microwave and heat it up, and it's just, it's just great for lunch and dinner, and I've even had it for breakfast. So, so yeah, let's cook. Yeah, but you also ate the dog food, so I don't let's know. Cook. Let's cook. Oh, it's got sausage in it, too. We're going to get sausage. that going. Sausage, okay. yeah. And you know what? I think I've got this some water there that may be boiling in a big pot, because I, I jumped the gun and I turned the fire on early. Would you please check it? Your wish is my command. Yes, it is boiling, sir. Barbara, that water is not boiling. When water is boiling, it's jumping around a lot more than that. That's just laying there. Well, you know, I'll tell this, you, um, since we started now this, this is show... Now, this is Italian sausage. You'd be an Italian, you would know that right away, wouldn't you? Uh-huh. Or would you? Absolutely. Turn the fire on under What's that. the difference between Italian sausage and regular sausage? Well, because Italian sausage is made with Italian hogs. Oh, okay. Okay. Turn the fire on this pan. Yes, the big pan. Okay. Yeah, all right. Because we're going um, to cook this sausage. I'll tell you what, though. I, I tried to cook this week for my husband. You know, you've been telling me I should try to do That's those right. things. That's right, yes, yeah. And I got a big boo-boo on my hand because I stuck my hand in, this, in the oven and the top of the oven seared oh, off wow. the skin on the top of it. Oh, Barbara. Well, you know, you really should stay away from those things like that and make reservations because you're not, you know. No. Yeah. Okay. Now the sausage is going in here. All right. Is okay. the, yeah, the fire's on. Fire's good. on. All right. Terrific. Do we now have uh, some utensils? Oh, we got these new ones we got. These Folks, new ones? Folks, we got these free from a fellow that makes this kind of stuff. Uh-huh. And I think he's going to advertise with us. Well, His name is so. Robins. Robinson? Robertson? Robinson. Robinson. Okay. Switch that around with that. Did All you right. wash these after you took them out of the package? I, I washed them. I really did. I got to watch him, you know. All right, the sausage is going. Now... Well, now, you know what? This looks awfully fatty, though. Well, it's Italian sausage. So does that mean it's fatty? Yeah. Italian sausage is that way. Okay. I thought you were Italian, girl. Well, I am, but I don't know this kind you of stuff. You know what? I've got great news. This is an egg slicer. Uh -huh. You know how much trouble we had slicing mushrooms yes. with an egg slicer? Yes. The secret is you have... This is one that was put out by the, the Gallup and Gourmet. Let me see. And wow, you could almost play that's, that. That's the secret. It's got to be tuned. See that? And it's tuned. So this is going to work. So watch this. Watch this. Can this camera see this? No, because nope, you probably have the mushrooms right in front of it. Put this little beauty in there like that. How about that? It's all, all sliced. Isn't that nice? Huh? How about that? Wow. Isn't that great? Huh? That's amazing. All right. Where'd you get that? In the store. In, in Hughes Market. And it was, it was by the Gall Gallup and Gourmet. Huh. Yeah. He's doing really well, you know. You think we'll ever do that well, Barbara? I don't know. Huh? You know, with, the, with our viewers getting so many, we're going to be pretty famous. Well, we're already getting famous. You know, October 24th, we're going to be at the RV show. Oh, wow. In the Pomona Fairgrounds. You're going to be teaching people how to cook in their RV. And, okay, uh, that's coming along just fine. Now, I've got to do something. Oh, the, the water is boiling now. Now, we've got, we've got one pound of macaroni here, Barbara, we're going to put in here. Okay. One pound. Elbow macaroni. Elbow. And we got to stir that a little bit. And uh... No problem. You know what? I think you have too much water in here. It just 
spilled all over the stove. What's that? I think you have too much water in here. It just spilled all over the stove. How did it spill all over the stove? Well, I went to stir it, and it's no, spilled Barbara, all over you the probably stove. swished it out of there, didn't you? See? Okay. I yeah. don't even think you're fine. It'll, oh, it'll dry up. Still it'll dry up. This smells mighty good. Well, that's, that's, that, that is good. It's all crumbling. What's here? We got to break this like skin stuff on it. Break that up. Well, that's just that's a casing for the sausage. Aren't you supposed to take it out of the casing? It's when out of the casing. Sausage? Yes, it's out of the casing. I took it out. <laughs> okay, that's doing good. Okay. All right. Now, what we'll, happened? Then? Now we got to set our uh, set our uh, timer here for ten minutes. Ten minutes for the pasta. Now this is going to click in the uh, in the sound system and drive John crazy. Uh-huh. But, uh, but he's used to that by now. Yeah, I think so. Okay, now. So we have sausage, we have mushrooms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How much mushrooms are you cooking for this recipe? There's about a half a pound there. Half a pound of yeah, mushrooms. Yeah. And how much sausage? A pound. A pound of sausage. About. Let me see. Can There's little seeds in this sausage. Yeah, that's, that's uh, the way Italian sausage is. Is that fire on there? Boy, when we get a couple yes, of sir. more sponsors, we're going to buy a new range again. I know. This, is, this range this is terrible. It's terrible. That is, that is looking starting to look pretty good now. But when that gets really going, we're going to put the, uh, the, mushrooms, put the mushrooms in, in there and saute the mushrooms. I think this is really going. That's going pretty good, yeah, yeah. But let's let it get a little browner. I mean, it'll All be right. pulverized anymore. All right. Well, you know, we should come up with a name. Oh, look at those gonna, fancy carrots. We're going to put these carrots in here now. Because we're just going to... Blanch those carrots. They're gonna just cook a little bit. Are they frozen carrots, or did you? Do they were frozen. They were frozen. Okay, I'm looking at these fancy carrots here. All right. So you're using frozen carrots, not fresh. You caught me. Normally, I would use the, uh, I would use the um, fresh carrots. But every time I cut a carrot on this show, Barbara has a fit because she swears up and down she's allergic to carrots. I am allergic to carrots. And it carrots. makes her break out. So. So I don't cut a carrot on the show. Okay, we're going to put some mushrooms in here. All right. Oh, what the stuff? That's enough. Yeah, that's all the mushrooms we need right there. And because that wasn't very fatty sausage, we're going to put a little extra virgin olive oil in here. Well, you know what? That really was fatty. No, it oh. wasn't. If it was fatty, you'd have had some fat in the pan, but you don't. So there we extra go. Extra virgin olive oil. Yes, yes. All right. Now... What are you doing? Well, I'm just kind of playing. You know, with when it. you hold it up in the air like that, no heat's going to get to it at all. It'll I never. Know, but I'm just kind of looking wonderful? at it. <laughs> okay, then that it looking good. It gets boring though? to go like this all the time, so I'm like doing different things. All right. Now. Now. And here's our broccoli. But our broccoli just is going to just go for a little while. So. Uh, and are we putting it in here? We're going to put it all together in a big baking pan. Would you hand me that, that uh, pot right there, and I'll put some water in it, and we'll get it going. Well, you really do need a bigger range, because this is too crowded. And I hope that the next range you buy, you don't buy over the phone. Yeah, we kind of made a mistake, didn't we? All right. Now, can we get that one going? You bet. Ha! Huh. Oh, we are really cooking now. We are certainly cooking. And this cooking. is just about done. And this done. looks almost done, this is done. right? This is See, done. I'm this learning. This is done. You are learning. Isn't that great, though? Doesn't that look mm -hmm. good? Wow, that looks terrific. All right. Well, so the guy you know, in the this is going to be shop, done. This is going to be done before we know it here. You always say that. And we just well, happen to finish it in is. 28 minutes. It's so, a miracle. So I'm going to get started here with the uh, with putting this together here. Now, this is going to go in that pan when it, when it gets to boiling. That's our broccoli. Well, I'm amazed that the guy in the barber shop recognized you. Yeah, he looked over there and he says, "Hey, you're the fellow that's on that cooking show." And um, how I, uh, old was he? About 107, I think. He looked he looked very he looked older than I am. That's how old he was. He was old. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Did he ask you for your autograph? No, he didn't. Uh, no. Now we have here. You know, the last week we made the uh, the Mexican thing with uh -huh. the cheese. Yeah. But well, we've got a lot of cheese left over. In fact, that's one reason why I was making this. Uh, tonight, because we do use uh, quite a bit of cheese, and uh, so uh, this way it won't go to waste. This is that good Smart and Final cheese. Yes, I know you like that cheese. It is really good. Now, this is cheddar, a sharp cheddar. So you're just kind of lining the pan. Well, I was just showing John. <laughs> 
Yeah, we don't want it all to one side, though. We want it all um, over the pan. This is burning. Yeah, why don't we turn the fire off, and then it'll stop burning. Well, is there anything else that needed to be added? No, I think we're just right, because that Italian sausage has got a lot of good stuff in it, you know. It's got, like what? Well, spices and, and things. <laughs> okay. Okay, what's next? Well, like I was cooling that on off for me. Oh, that is good. Oh, man, that is good. Mm. That is good Italian sausage. Mmm. I say we quit while we're ahead. Did you turn the fire off? Uh, yes. Okay. You really gonna do a thing at the at the RV show? Yes, we're really gonna do a thing wow. at the RV show. We're doing um. What do they want us to do? They want well, they want to see cooking in an RV in a microwave, and that means more than just like whipping out a couple of TV dinners. Oh, okay. That won't be bad. No. You, you can do a lot of stuff in a microwave. You really can. You can make you can make hash brown potatoes and scrambled eggs and, and bacon and well, a we have breakfast. an hour. Yeah. Well, that'll take care of five minutes. We're gonna do the next fifty-five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just showing yeah. up to help. Yeah. And no, then you know we got stuff. bid for bachelors that night too. Well, you which said, is March of Dimes. You talked about that last week. What is bid for bachelors? That's for the March of Dimes where they auction off men for charity. And I that Men. Time, men, yes. I'm not that kind of a person. Well, no, they're not gonna auction off you. I don't think your wife would let us auction off mm. you. <laughs> but I met my husband there four years ago. Oh, that's right. You told me about that. Yeah, okay. yeah. So we go back yeah. every year, oh. and, and the people at the March of Dimes are big home mm. on the range fans. Hey, girls, that's a good tip, because she got a pretty good husband. Far too good for her, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank yeah. you for those words of encouragement. Okay. There's hope yet. All right. So, uh, you know, your popularity is growing. Is it? Yes. In fact, I went into Ford Cleaners in Laguna Niguel to, to get my uniform cleaned after the last program. And all the girls in there watch the show. Really? Yes. Well, that makes 35 viewers in. Uh -huh. We didn't talk about those earlier. No, no, I didn't because I oh. didn't have a solid name. You know, I bet you there are viewers out there we don't even know about. I think I bet, so. I bet there are several, yeah. yeah. I bet there are. You know what? I think we're going to drain the... Uh, drain, drain the pasta? The, uh, the pasta because it's... Uh, hey, you know what? This pasta looks overcooked. All right. Yeah. You should have one of those little mittens on. What mittens is that? One of those little mittens. Like what? Those little gloves, so that you don't burn yourself like this. What are you talking about? Isn't that hot? Well, I guess I hope it's hot. It is hot, yes. Now, we've got here some butter. Butter or margarine? Margarine, margarine. Okay. Because margarine doesn't have the cholesterol in it, you know. And it's, cheap, and it's cheaper, too. Less expensive. And we're going to have a half of a, half of a cube of butter in there. All right? So what does that come to, half of a cube of butter? Well, it's two ounces. You know, somebody wrote to me and said it's a little difficult to follow your recipes. I can't imagine why. <laughs> I want you to use this as a little, yeah, a little better swisher. And then we want to swish that around. And then we want to put some black pepper in on that. Okay. If we've got any. So we've got elbow macaroni with margarine. Yeah. Black pepper. We don't have no any black pepper. No hot pepper? We, we don't have any black pepper. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. What? We're going to... Improvise? Gonna, do we have any wimps out here tonight? No. We'll, we'll put a little of this stuff in. This Red is pepper, hot yeah, pepper. Swish that around. Yeah, this is good. Uh-oh. Usually you would use black pepper here, but swish that around some more. Or let me have the thing and I will, okay? Hey, this is my job. Do it then, do it. Well, I'm doing it. All trying right. to cut me out of the act now that you're getting famous. <laughs> Come on, move the pepper I've around. I've read about people like you in the Inquirer. Move the pepper, move it around. Oh, Oops, boy. got away. One star and escape. Okay. Whoa, this could be really hot. No, that's going to be just right. All right, now we're going to put the, uh, we're going to put the broccoli in over no, there. No, no, no. Okay, so what are we doing, boiling broccoli? Yes. Well, we're just kind of... How come you didn't steam it? We're just kind of steaming it. We're not going to boil it. It's only going to be in here so quick that you won't even know it. But don't, when you steam it, isn't there like a net or something in there? Well, yeah. People in Irvine do that. <laughs> this is, no, this is supposed to keep you from having cancer. Broccoli what? is. Broccoli keeps you from having cancer. Who told you that? My wife. She read it in the National Enquirer. Now, we're layering this, see? This is, this is going to be a layer of uh, macaroni on top of that cheese. Mm-hmm. 
And then when we put... Which probably this, nobody can see. Well, sure they can see it. Why can't they see it? Well, because, like, if it was on that burner... All right, take it over there and put it on that burner. But turn the burner off first. Burner's turned off. You sure? Hey, trust okay. me, baby. All right. All right, I'm getting to learn all this cooking stuff. One more. Okay. Do you think I'll have a scar from this? Oh, probably. Be terrible. One more scar on you, though. It won't hurt much, you know. Yeah, this is the white cheese. So white cheese, which is what kind Monterey of cheese? Monterey Jack. Monterey Jack. Monterey Jack. Yeah. Wonder where that name came from. From Monterey, yeah. California. You usually know all kinds of good yeah. trivia while we cook. No, it, it's Monterey, California. Unless really you is. just make all this stuff yes. up. Well, I make most of it up, but then who cares, you know, it's all right. Uh, now, this is the sharp Are cheddar again. sausage? Well, no, just wait a minute here. Can I put sausage in here? Oh, boy. Oops. Now. Okay. We take our sausage. Uh-huh. Oh boy. This is good stuff. And we, we layer 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 of sausage around here. This is pretty handy. We, it, the idea is not to dump it all in one place, you know, it's to, to layer around a little bit. Well, I'm spreading it around. But if you if you touch a cheese then you're gonna flouse up the layers. Well, I can see you're very particular about your well, layers. Boy, that's not a very good job, but what the heck. No, no, we want this first. Your frozen carrots. Yeah. Right. Don't say frozen. Well, you know what? I kind of knew that you didn't make those because they were cut too fancy. Oh, you mean with the little squiggles? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, let's, no, let's get these spread around evenly, huh? Not all over the... Well, you're very particular about how you're spreading. Well, you there. have to be, because if you... If you, if you don't, then when you go to dish this up and you get a spoonful, it won't have no, any sausage or carrots or whatever. This is quite photogenic. It should be. Very colorful. And, and it looks very nice on a plate, as you will see in a little while, too. But you know, there's enough here to feed a family of four for about a week. But the, so you can just keep it in the refrigerator and keep slicing yeah, it up. Right, and... right. Now, our broccoli. And after about a week, your family probably made me sick of this. They will be. After a week, it's, you've had it all you want. Can you make it and freeze it? You're dripping all over the place. Uh, I, I imagine you could, but it, it'll stay refrigerated for a couple of weeks. You don't even have to. But isn't that green and orange nice? Isn't that nice? Very pretty. Very pretty. Are you putting another layer of something, or is this it? Oh, no, we got our, our macaroni, our, our, our cheese. You used all that macaroni? No, we got macaroni and cheese go on top of this. Isn't this the same thing you did dog food in? The same pan, yes. It's a standard baking pan. You make cakes, sir. Make great cake. I don't know pan. about you making cakes again. Well, we did fine. We just ran out of frosting. There's nothing wrong with that. My gosh. I don't think baking is your forte, pal. <laughs> That I, cake was pretty sad looking. I bake as well as I do anything else. <laughs> no, your food is good. Ah! <laughs> we almost bought the farm on that one. <laughs> with the, uh, with the yellow, yellow, cheese. yellow cheese. Can I do some? No. Okay. You'll just mess it up, Barbara. Well, how am I supposed to learn? Huh? You're supposed this to watch. It's kind of like on-the-job training. You're supposed to watch, but you're never going to learn. Well, someday I mean, I'm going to cook for my husband. If you haven't learned by now, Barbara, it's too late, huh? Well, if they can teach a bear to dance, I'm sure you could teach me to cook. <laughs> All right. You know, there's hardly any calories in this dish. Have you noticed? Oh, yes, I know. Another skinifying meal. Yeah, all right. Now. Now comes the, the last and the best part. Is this. I don't like olives. Sliced olives. There's very few things you do like, Barbara. No. What is that? I like the way it looked except for these black olives. Oh, my. Should we take them off? They look like little bugs. Should we take them off? No, those are great. Okay, now, we got our oven at 350 degrees. Uh -huh. and we're going to put this in there for 10 minutes, and that's going to melt all the cheese. And, and all those olives are going to sink down into it, and it's going to be wonderful. 
Really? So now we've got 10 minutes to clean up the okay. kitchen. If you'd like a copy of this <laughs> recipe, you can write to us at the address on the screen. But you know, seriously, this is probably one of the finest recipes we've done on the show. Really? This is a terrific dish. Well, we'll see by how many people yeah. write in. I mean, for people that have any taste, it's a terrific dish. Is that not nice, huh? Is that wow. not gorgeous? If we pick these away, there's like a spot for me to eat on. <laughs> That's a weird chick. <laughs> now, before you mess mm. it up, let's get it over here and, and uh, put it on a plate, huh? Mmm. Okay. This looks really good. I am very impressed. You should be. This I'm is a wonderful dish. extremely impressed. This is a wonderful dish. You know, that has a serrated edge on it. Did you know that? What's it? This thing. Okay. See? Isn't that wonderful? So you can, like, cut from you here. You can. Yeah. Well, maybe we should let you do it then, huh? <laughs> well, you're getting to be quite oh, a smart oh, oh, pants. Oh, 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 We're in trouble. We're in trouble. I didn't cut it wide enough. Oops, it's going We're in on. trouble. We're in trouble. <laughs> That's terrible. Connie's getting in the plate. Well, another thing, it's too hot right now. It's, it's a cheese. So you should wait till this Just cools a, should, a little a bit. A few minutes, yeah. How much is a few minutes? Oh, five, ten minutes is all. Maybe we need another type of utensil. Yeah, this is really... <laughs> this is not really the greatest. Where did we get these? <laughs> Our sponsor. Here, wait, we have a whole lot of stuff here. How about if we just use a spoon and scoop it out? Well, we had started out pretty good with the knife there. I hope, I hope this isn't on camera. This is terrible. Well, it doesn't look bad. I mean, it's not as unappetizing as some of the things you've made. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, note, folks, we're going to get out of here and see you next week, maybe. We'll be back. Bye. Bye.